What's up guys, it's Brandon here, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your PS3 hard drive in a few simple steps. So, uh, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do first is get an external hard drive like the one I have here, which is a Western Digital MyBook for Mac. And once you have your external hard, hard drive, you're going to want to uh, connect it to your computer and uh, format it so that it's a uh, FAT format, so that it could play in... Uh, consume all of your PS3 data and uh, not corrupt it when it's in the process of backing up and and all that stuff so uh, yeah let's go ahead and format it okay so after you have your external hard drive handy uh, and uh, you've connected to your computer what you're gonna wanna do is on a Mac this is just for Mac I don't know how you would do it for a PC I'm sorry out there if you have a PC and you're working on this don't stop the video yet, just try and follow along, I'm pretty sure most of the applications are the same on both Mac and PC, um, so just try and decipher what I'm saying and, and relate it to what you have as best you can. So, what we're going to do first here is we're going to go to Disk Utility, which I have right here, this is what the icon looks like on a Mac, I'm not sure what it would be on a PC, but just go to whatever your um, hard, drive, hard drives are stored. So, yeah, what we're going to do here is select the whatever hard drive you have, and in this case it's the 2 terabyte Western Digital MyBook, and um, what you're going to want to do before you do anything, a lot of videos on YouTube don't mention this, uh, and that's a very big problem, but what you're going to want to do first is back up your hard drive. Uh, whatever is on your hard drive will be re uh, erased once you do this format, so I recommend... Uh, get another hard drive or maybe back it up to another computer whatever you have to do because all of your your pictures videos documents are going to be gone when you reformat this so i already you know i already did the the process of backing everything up so i'm going to go over here to erase and where it says mac os extended journal we're going to reformat this whole entire external hard drive to MS DOS DOS fat and you can name it anything you like so I'm gonna name it uh, Brandon's drive oops can't go anymore so I'll just name it Brandon and basically once you have that you're gonna click erase and it's going to format it this could take a while I'm not sure how long it's gonna take so we're gonna come back when it's done. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is gonna is you're gonna go to the PlayStation website and you're gonna go to the web page that has all the new software updates available. And after that you're gonna pull up your external hard drive and create a new folder. And that new folder you're going to title update, which I'll highlight for you right now. And you can get to this page many different ways, but I recommend just going to the Sony PlayStation website and finding a tab that talks about, or that says, software updates, because you need this update in order for the PS3 to format anything um, from your external hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and download it, and I don't know how long it's going to take, so... Alright, so we finally finished downloading, so let's go up here and select it. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, let's see now. Let's try and drag it to the folder. No. Maybe the desktop. Oh, good. Okay. Now let's try putting it right into the update. Excellent. So it's in there. Let me just make sure everything else is in here before I do anything alright so it's it's good okay so the next process is to go to your backup utility which is located in system settings of the settings tab on your PlayStation home screen so we're gonna go here backup utility it's gonna ask you to back up uh, or restore data to a system storage. We're going to back up and we're just going to say yes to this. I don't know why it's asking it. 
um, possibly because I have two other accounts on here but we don't even use those other users so just say yes to it and it says do you want to back it up to um, another storage media we're gonna say yes it notices my book and we're gonna let it do its little preparing thing so so it's saying that it's now going to back up and it's estimating the remaining time do not remove the storage media now this could take longer than a few seconds this is probably going to take anywhere from an hour to a few hours I think hopefully it doesn't take that long I know I have a lot of game data on here it, I completely maxed out the PS3 system all 80 gigabytes are filled so yeah this could take a while and we will come back once it's finished alright so now that all of that backing up and uh, you know PS3 hard drive stuff is all transferred over to my external we can now start the process of installing the new hard drive which I have over here and that is a 500 gigabyte 16 megabyte cache 7200 RPM Seagate momentous hard drive so you're probably wondering um, 7200 about that number you know I've I've done a lot of research and from people saying that this may overheat the PS3 and stuff like that I don't think so I went to game not GameStop I went to Best Buy and I asked the technicians there and they they told me that they've replaced a lot of um, hard drives before you know upgraded them and they've put the 7200 RPMs in there not because of the customer wanting it but they just put it in because they felt that they knew it would not only give great speed for it, even if it is minuscule, you know, bringing that fast speed to it, but also the, the engineers at Sony thought of uh, ways to make sure that it wouldn't overheat. And, you know, the fans in here are, have different speeds. I mean, there's, I, I think it's perfectly fine to put a 7200 RPM uh, hard drive in there. So just, just to let you know if you're wondering about that. But, uh, yeah, so here it is. Here's the actual hard drive, 2.5 inches. This will fit right into there, and uh, let's go ahead and install it. So, on the side here, there is a little hatch, which you can see right here. Um, use your nail to open it. It's very easy to just pop right open. And uh, here's the little hatch right here. Here's the actual hard drive sitting in there. You have a little blue screw that you're going to need a Phillips head to take out. Man, look at all that dust. But yeah, you're going to use the Phillips screw driver to take that out. So see if I could do this with one hand while filming. Sorry, I'm trying to do this at an angle that you could see it. And the whole hard drive comes right out. Whew, look at all that dust coming out of there. So here's the actual hard drive. Here's the new one. Fit right in there. So now we've got to take it out of its casing. So I'm not going to catch that on camera because I need two hands for that. But uh, give me a second and I will get it out. So it was just checking for about five, ten minutes, and now it says it's formatting, which is a, I guess, a good screen to see and know that it, the percentage is going up and that it's working. Uh, it says, do not turn off the system or remove the storage media. After the format operation has completed, the system will restart and the installation of the system software will begin. So, yeah, I'm going to let it do its thing and we'll be back. Now we're at this screen, and uh, I'm going to do exactly as it says, and press the PS button. It's going to check for the update data, so it's going to take the data that I just downloaded before off of the website and put onto my folder. It's going to ask me to agree to this. 
and I definitely will agree to this because I want to get on with my whole PS3. And it's going to install. Hopefully this does not take very long. So, I'll be back once again in about a couple minutes. Next, it says to connect the controller using a USB. And I will do that. English. HDMI, good. I think I'm almost there. Oh my god, I gotta set the time. Today is the 29th of December. And it is still 2012, it's almost New Year's. And I believe it's 11.10. Or just went up the other way. And it's PM. User 1. Finish settings, yes. Internet. Good. Okay. We're not done yet. We have to now go to system settings. We're going to scroll all the way down to, I think, backup utility, and we're going to do restore. And we're going to select the USB My Book. It notices that. And it should restore everything that I backed up earlier today. So this is the backup data. And it's so oh, great. More f oh no, it's going pretty quick. I see sparkles. Press the PS button. Oh no. One hour and fifty five minutes. We'll be back. Adios. So step ten is rather easy. All you have to do is follow the instructions shown on the screen. Uh, after you're done rebooting it, if the PS3 didn't already boot reboot itself. So there is my username which is a good sign, and that means that everything restored properly, hopefully. Let's check it out. So I'm signing in, that's a good sign, and let's just check around, see if I have anything. Oh yeah, all my friends are back, perfect. And I am seeing all my media is all still there, nothing got deleted, so yeah, I think it worked, and if you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This has been Brandon, see you guys soon.